Welcome to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and always a huge thank you to everyone that continuously supports my channel. Today we're putting up the linen shelves. I got these from Yisk. It's the exact same shelves, the floating shelves that I have on my uh, shoe wall. And I like it because it comes with everything that you need, including the uh, bracket on the inside and two screws. You do have to use additional screws to attach the bracket into the wall, but beside that, it comes with the major parts. I don't really use a measuring tape. You guys will notice that I have a very unorthodox way when doing any of these sort of projects, but it works for me and it always comes out the way that I envision it. Right now, I am just marking the place on the wall, pre-drilling the holes, and now I am making the holes. I put in the plugs so that I can have the extra support that's needed for the shelves not to fall. Thinking I'm doing all of the right things, but little did I know, I had a huge lesson to learn and I discovered that when I woke up the next morning. I was super excited at this point and I wanted to just put one of my folders on top to see, is it gonna hold the weight? Is it gonna work? Because the idea that I had that's what the shelf is going to be used for. However, when I woke up the next morning, remember that lesson I said I learned? This is it. I used regular plugs thinking, because I always use regular plugs, thinking, oh, this will be fine. It will be enough to keep the shelf on the wall nice and sturdy. And no, these are not the right plugs to use. If putting something on drywall, use the drywall anchors. These ones I got hold up to 80 pounds and it comes with the screw and the anchor itself. You can get all the anchors and stuff separately, but I couldn't find the ones that were 80 pounds. I was finding the 30 pound ones. So I wanted to make sure that what I got would be able to handle what I'm putting on the shelf. But it was scary because I'll show you guys what I mean. So when I walked in in the morning, the shelf was leaning forward like this pulling against the wall the plugs were even out a little bit and it was just kind of leaning forward really drooping and I thought oh my god it's gonna fall and rip all my wallpaper off and I'm gonna have to do this all over again I am so happy that I experienced this in my office because my floating shelves I literally just did a shoe clean out and I took all of my shoes off the wall and even before I did that three or four of those shelves were all drooping and I just kept adding screws, adding screws, not understanding why is the shelf not staying up? I have like 10 screws on this. Now I know this was the reason why. And so I did get a couple extra packs. I went back and got the extra packs actually. And I will be reinforcing my floating shelves that I have my shoes and purses on. And now I know it's not going to droop and cause any problems going forward. So Sometimes it's good to encounter a problem because it creates the ability to have a permanent solution. I was so happy when I finished the shelf. Like, I can't even tell you guys. I probably look like the treasure cat, the size of the grin on my face. I wanted to see how sturdy it is, and it felt really nice and firm. I felt super confident because I used the right things to secure the shelf. Now I'm just kind of eyeballing how far down do I want the other shelf. A big pet peeve of mine is seeing like silver screws on a light surface or dark surface. So I put these little white stickies on the bottom to cover the head of that screw because it's so irritating to me. Everything in the office is so white that the screw really sticks out like a sore thumb. I was very pleased with my minor adjustment to hiding the screws and now it was time to give the girls some quick love and on to putting everything on the shelf. Um, I kept double checking <laughs> because I'm like, oh my gosh, it's going to droop. But let's take a break here and talk a little bit about these organizers that I have. I got them from Ikea. They're called the Cuggis. You get two of them in the package. I believe I paid like, I think they were like two for 15. I'll double check, but I'll link it in the description. They come all packaged in just separate pieces flat. And I actually really like these. My intention was to get something else. I was happy that I went and I saw these ones because they look so quality. They feel really good. There's a bit of weight on them. So if you're putting them on a shelf, make sure the shelf can handle the weight of what you're putting in it and the weight of what 
of the actual um, container itself. These are easy. They're snap-ins. You just line it up, slip it up, the, like the little, the little balls, line it into the bigger part of the hole, slide it in, and then snap the bottom part in where my thumb was. That's it. And you do that with all of them. I also like that you can wipe these down. And you know the really cool thing about these? As you guys know, and you're probably sick of hearing me say this, you try to get things that you can use in other places. This would be so nice in a pantry, especially if somebody is really into like recipes and things like that. This would look so beautiful if you had a couple of them in a pantry and you had like labels, smoothies, um, you know, cakes, cookies, breads. And then you have like different meals. So you can have like Italian, um, Japanese, Chinese, like it would be really cool in a pantry area. And so when I bought these, that was some of the ideas I had in my mind, like where else can I use it? I'm a stickler for making sure everything is even, so I'm just making sure that all the spaces are the same. And now it's time to put on the second shelf. I purposely left the um, organizers on that shelf because I wanted to see how are they going to handle me moving around in the bottom, the vibration of the wall. Is it going to cause it to shake and slide off? Like, how is it going to handle that? And they handled it really well. And yes, guys, I know I didn't use a tape measure. I didn't even look to see if it's the same, you know, size on size on both sides. But what I did do is I just followed. You see on the bottom where I put the little sticker to, to um, hide the screws. I just followed that exact point down. And that was perfect for me. And it was leveled, and I love it. I just screwed in the bottom part again just to secure the shelf to the part that's attached to the wall. And now I'm putting my white binders on there. The idea is to have this entire shelf covered with white binders from one side to the next. Everything in this filing cabinet's going inside of these top ones. I'm getting rid of the cabinet and, again, want to fill the entire shelf with binders. Um but I'm not too certain if I'm going to do something a little bit different. I have to think about it. I don't use my printer, so I'm going to pack it in its box and just put it into my storage closet and call it a day. But I'm happy with where the, how the office is looking so far. And now it was just cleaning up everything that I had kind of all over the place, um, trying to see what else do I need to do, what else do I need to get. There's a couple smaller things that I have to work on getting that filing cabinet, I've had it for 10 years. Can you believe that? It used to be like a really deep chocolate brown and I painted it white. Don't mind the handles. I actually was going to keep it in there and switched out one of the handles to see if I like it. But then I was inspired by a whole different direction. And so I went for it. With the desk there, guys, I am obsessed. I really love it. It just feels so zen and just so light and freeing. I do want to put, you see the, the leaflet, on, not the leaflet, the Lucite folder holder or paper holder, or I don't even know what it's called. It's in, I'll link the video to that, that it's in. But um, I do want to put two of those on the wall, probably one here and then one further up, because I do have two that were purposely purchased for the office that I weren't using properly. But I don't know yet. I have to think about it. I might even put it here, but then I don't know. I'm a little uncertain. But right now, that's it for my office, guys. Thank you so very much for following me along this uh, this journey with getting my office completed. I'm almost there. I'm almost done. I'll see you all in my next video. Mm -hmm.